What's going on everyone? You are listening to Bull Central here. Hope you're all doing well. Before I get into the video today, guys, just a quick update on the gift card giveaway. I also did not hear back from Robot King 44, so I redid the drawing yet again, and this time I selected Ethan Villa Gomez. So hopefully third time's a charm. I guess no one wants a free $50 to the NBA store.com. Uh, the last giveaway, the guy claimed it within about 15 minutes or so. Um, so guys, I promise no gimmicks. You don't have to provide personal information. There's no sales pitch or anything like that. I just like giving back to my subscribers for helping grow the channel, uh, and I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, if I don't get a response from Ethan, I may just have to give it to the first person who comments on my next video. We'll see. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But Ethan, my man, it's yours if you can claim it in the next 24 hours. Just feel free to DM me or either to my email or my Instagram messenger, which can be found in the YouTube channel profile. But anyway, in today's video, I did want to share some brief updates and news from the Bulls as well as a high-level update on the NBA's modified health and safety protocol. Now, as I'm sure you all know by now, and I mentioned it in my last video, that the Bulls-Celtics game that was initially scheduled for today it has been canceled uh, due to the fact that the Celtics have an insufficient number of active players. Uh, the minimum requirement is eight, and they have too many players under the protocol to make that happen. Now, the good news for the Bulls is, in this case, it allows uh, for those four players who have been under the health and safety protocol more time to either recover for those that tested positive or finish off the required isolation and quarantine for the ones that um, fell under the protocol for contact tracing. Now, if you caught Casey Johnson's tweet from this morning, he did confirm that both Lowry Markkinen and Ryan Archidiakono did practice fully. Now, it didn't say whether they practiced fully with the team or if it was just solo workouts at the Bulls practice facility. But either way, it does sound very optimistic that they will be able to rejoin the team for Friday's matchup against the Thunder or shortly thereafter. Um, if, again, the game against the Thunder takes place, I feel like I always have to throw that caveat out there now because we never know if a game is actually going to be canceled last minute that's just the nature of this season um what's interesting is that markinen archidiakino who continued to test negative uh, but were required to isolate due to the due to the close contact with chandler hutchinson who tested positive markinen archie and sadaransky all three of them traveled from dc to chicago together by van a 12-hour van ride which Sounds absolutely miserable. But Sato then later tested positive after the fact, after they had that trip. So it is pretty shocking that both Markinen and Archie did not get it and have continued to test negative. Granted, the tests are always not the most accurate right off the bat after initial exposure, so it's possible they could test positive in the next couple of days, but hopefully that won't be the case. Um, hopefully they'll be fine and everything will be okay and they'll be able to rejoin the team soon. Um, obviously, you know, for both Sadoransky and Hutchinson, uh, they both tested positive. Hutchinson actually had to stay back in DC and quarantine there, but has since made his way back to Chicago. No updates on their status at this point in time. I imagine they'll probably need to quarantine for a little while longer or at least start testing negative consistently before returning to the court. And even then, you know, they're obviously going to have to go through some conditioning after not being able to do basketball activities for a few weeks. So uh, obviously hoping for the best for them and that they recover quickly and that their health is good and that their family's health is okay as well. Now, the NBA did announce a updates to their health and safety protocol in light of all the new positive tests coming back um, and the games that needed to be postponed as a result. And I mentioned in my last video that they announced yesterday they were going to make modifications to the protocol, but we didn't really know what that meant, uh, whether that meant they were going to make it more strict or loosen some of the guidelines. Well, it turns out they made it much more strict um, than what it was before anyway, which I think is a good thing because it shows they care more about the health and safety of the staff and players. Um, I won't go into all of the details of the changes that, that are taking place in the protocol, but I'll uh, provide some key highlights from it and you can check out the full report on NBA.com if you'd like. But a few of the changes are now that the players are no longer able to have non-team guests uh, visiting their hotel when the players are on the road, while at home staff and players 
must remain home at all times with the exception of team activities, workouts, or other essential activities, say grocery shopping, things like that. Very similar to how it would be for one of us um, if, a, if a county or a state went on lockdown and we were in that county or state. Um, Pre-game meetings in the locker room are going to be limited to 10 minutes. Uh, this one is a little strange, but the players are now only allowed to elbow or fist pump while socializing pre and post game with the other teams. Uh, and then of course, with all of this stricter mask requirements, you know, this includes when you're sitting on the bench, locker room, pre and post game, pre and post game pressers, all of that. You, you get the picture. It's a lot more strict even more strict than it already was. We'll monitor the situation closely. Hopefully these measures will limit the number of positive tests going forward. And, and fingers crossed, you know, the season won't have to be suspended or put on hold for a period of time. I'll continue to update you guys as I hear more. As always, uh, be sure to subscribe if you're a Bulls fan and you enjoy Daily Bulls content. Thanks again, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.